Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the It's Getting Late Show with your host, Zach Hadlock. Happy Halloween and all that crap. <laughs> Can we fix the lights in there real quick? I'm already red enough as it is. <laughs> I'm Zach Hadlock, the Atlanta-based comedian, and this is our show, the It's Getting Late Show. We got a good one lined up for y'all guys. Let's get to the desk. And joining me as always is my awesome co-host, Mr. John Combo. Uh, where's John? Oh. Can I help you? Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I want to do a segment. Dude, we've been in production for months. The show's planned out. You can't just impromptu segment. Yeah, I'm going to do a food review. Um, <laughs> I had the chicken sandwich from Wingstop, the brand new one. And? I mean, it was pretty good. That's the food review? That's the food review. All right. We have time for that, don't we? <laughs> we, we had time for that. But a food review usually has substance. Okay, give me an example if you're so good. <laughs> that's, that's not that I'm... That was just really bad. Here, here's my drink of choice. Uh, watch. Observe. Ooh, you know, sweet and tangy. You know, it's kind of nostalgic. It takes me back to my childhood. Out of all the drinks I've had in the last week, it's definitely top 50%. It's got a certain uh, je ne sais quoi. Yeah, let me try. You're so good. Ugh! That's not coffee. Oh, I can really taste the quoi. Yeah, no doubt, dude. It's apple cider. What's up, all you nasty critters? Trick or treat. Happy Halloween. I hope you're having a good October. Us here at the It's Getting Late Show are making the most of this October. We've already dived into our pumpkin spice lattes, lighting our pumpkin spice candles, and, best of all, using our pumpkin spice toilet paper. It burns, but it sure makes for a spooky dookie. One of my favorite things to do during the fall time is a good old-fashioned corn maze. We searched long and hard for the best corn maze this side of the Mississippi, and the one that we landed on was the Buford, Georgia corn maze. Now, for the sake of transparency, it doesn't have the best reviews on Google. Let's take a look at that. John, kick us out with that first one. Yeah, sure. Leah H. said, absolutely terrible. Poor animal. The chickens <laughs> peck each other on the head. Can't have that. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> and uh, T. Ming says, uh, the guy in charge of the pony rides is either mentally challenged. Can we say that? I, don't, I, just, I genuinely don't know. Or spiteful as all get out. He ruined everything for me and my children. Yeah, how dare he be challenged. <laughs> all right, last one. Courtney S. says, came for a fun family time with the kids and watched two horny alpacas mating the entire time. Why would they put two mating alpacas on display in front of hundreds of children? Let's not take these guys' word for it. You know, John and I went there ourselves and we had a great time. Let's check it out. Some people think that Halloween's all about getting scared, but it's really all about carving pumpkins, eating something tasty, and smoking crystal meth. You're a cute little hamburger to be. I love you. And make sure you get the shot of me and James Corden. <laughs> he put me on the broken one. The over one. The over one. That one. <laughs> I want to be pink. One of the things to do with this corn maze is the duck race. I'm pink. I'm blue. And I'm gonna beat you. No, 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 no. My duck is way more quicker. Ready? Three, two, one, go! I didn't know that. So we're in the corn maze. We just entered. We got a long ways to go. But John and I are gonna find, uh, to find the ending. <laughs> this corn is all natural. <laughs> Oh, 
John, you know why they call corn maze? Why? The corn maze, man. What the f <laughs> So, John, I, I think yeah. we came in on that side first. Uh huh. And we want to get to there, over there. And so, so far we've been hugging this side, but I think we need to cut a... Dude, I'm so lost. I don't know where we are. <laughs> this is just a guess. I, um, do you think corn can hear us since it has ears, you know? Uh, I never thought about it. Well, yeah. What would you tell the corn if it could? Go straight to hell, corn. I never <laughs> liked you and I'm lost and I'm scared. <laughs> John, it's been about 45 minutes, man. I don't, I, I don't think the corn maze is that big. I'm trying to draw a penis with the way I'm walking around. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know if we have enough corn for that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to get a little freaked out. Guys, excuse me, ma'am. Have you seen my co-host anywhere? My co-host. Your what? He's got like a brown jacket on. He's he does. He looks nefarious. That's what I have. It's all right. Okay. Thank you. Hey guys, we're done, right? That's a wrap. Those reviews weren't kidding. That's the horniest alpacas I've ever seen, dude. Trust us. We could not show the alpaca footage. Even if we could, you wouldn't want to see that. Unless you did. I made them an OnlyFans. Well, those alpacas were giving it away for free. I guess a try before you buy sort of thing. Probably my least favorite part about Halloween is when all the little mooch kids in my neighborhood come around and knock on my door. I'm trying to beg for candy, panhandlers. Hey kids, you want a piece of candy? You want a piece of me, eh? You don't want a piece of him, trust me. And just because these kids dress up in cool costumes doesn't mean they're entitled to our candy. It's no secret John and I don't like to share candy. I've seen some good costumes in my time, but we're gonna go look at some gnarly, stupid, bad ones. Let's check them out. If I had to guess, this kid's name is probably Kyle. No drywall is safe once he puts this costume on. What do you think's stronger, his hair gel or his muscles? His, his abs, he looks like a flesh corn on the cob. He's got, he's got abs from his belly button to his Adam's apple. A lot of stoners are like vegans. They can't shut up about it. We get it. You smoke weed. You don't have to dress up your kid as this and peruse the streets. I'm a puff puff pass on this costume. I think the worst thing about this costume is he's pointing at the bowl, like inviting me. All it takes is for one drunk uncle at the trunk retreat to just get pissed on. <laughs> this worm kid, the costume's pretty cool, but he really needs to watch his back for these two kids. This kid, probably an EDM head. When he asked his mom for a dead mouse costume, he got this instead. John. Out of all those costumes, if you had to wear one for Halloween this year, which one would you choose? Probably the worm. I think i just wear it and pull me around in a wagon and i just eat some dirt. <laughs> what about candy? You want candy? I mean, like, crushed up Oreo dirt, you know, oh. with the worms in there. Gummy worms. I mean, yeah. wouldn't that be cannibalism? <laughs> Probably. Moving right along, everybody knows that Halloween and scary movies are a match made in heaven. Peanut butter jelly, ham and Swiss. I love scary movies sometimes, not gonna lie, I'm kind of a wuss bag. But uh, this year I might make an exception because this trailer for this Halloween movie coming out looks freaking good. Let's check it out. So, you mean to tell me you've never pooped in the shower before? No, man, that's, that's nuts. Not even like in your hand? Not in the drain or anything, and then just toss it into the toilet bowl? What you're saying is like, that's even crazier than just pooping in the shower. Like, you could just... I don't even know, man. You getting a call? Yeah. You, could, you could take it. No, it's, it's just a spam call. It's whatever. No, yeah, man, just answer it. Just be like, you know, just tell them no. Nah, stuff happens all the time.
Jeez, man. Shut up. We've been trying to reach you concerning your car's extended warranty. Wow, that movie looks really good. But it also looks pretty scary. And the reason I think that is I'm pretty sure that movie trailer alone scared John half to death. <laughs> and on that note, oh, <laughs> it's getting late, folks. I've had a great time. Happy Halloween. Stay safe out there. Shut your mouth. Go to bed. Thanks so much. You've been a great audience. Like and subscribe. <laughs>